Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel in English. Well, today we have some news that we have yet to talk about. But before starting, let me remind you that if you are not subscribed yet and you don't want to miss any of our videos talking about Barcelona's uh, news, about Barcelona's pre-matches, about analyzing some players, about post-matches and any other stuff, so you know what you have to do. There is a red button down there that you can hit to subscribe. And like this, you will not miss any of our videos. And also, if you are subscribed and you like our videos, don't forget sharing them. That will help us to keep growing too. And now, without more delay, let's start. Well, guys, so today is 2nd of August, or August the 2nd, and it's Emerson's presentation. Emerson this morning went to the, well, La Ciudad Esportiva de, de Barcelona. So it's like a sport center or sportive center of Barcelona. And he went to, do, to undergo the medical check. It's very important because that helps to Barcelona to make sure that he's properly. That I'm, I'm seeing the image so fake, man. <laughs> they could do it better. Well, however, uh, for Emerson, welcome and I wish the best. As I told you the other day, if you want to see, if you want to see the presentation, it's I think the they are going to sign the documents around six. PM in Spain, so don't count on me to watch that because uh, it's 11 PM here and I work tomorrow. And also, he will be in the camp now playing, doing some some things with the ball at 7 PM Spanish time or European time. Except if you are from England, that is one hour. Uh, I think one hour before. I'm not sure now. Well. However, uh, if you are from USA, I'm sorry, guys, I don't know. And if you are from the east, uh, the east of Europe, so make the numbers, okay? It's as easy as that. So, Emerson, uh, right center back expected. Um, uh, even he could be as left, but it's, I told you, I've never seen a left center back. Or I, I've never seen Emerson playing as left center back, if you know. If you have a video, if you've seen any video, just leave it on the comment section. It will help me a lot. Um, talking about Emerson, I think it's very uh, a good uh, a good player to strengthen our our defend def defenders because um, his capacity of stop the ball. His I, I I read the other day the statistics and it's quite good, really. I think he's going to help us or he's going to improve the quality of the defense. Um, talking about Emerson, we're going to talk about this man. He's on the other side. Well, you know, uh, the problem haven't. <laughs> well, Messi. Who is Messi? Have you seen Messi? I saw the other day he was drinking something with Luis Fares in Ibiza. Um, that even sadly, he, they didn't invite me. Well, Messi is still on holidays. I read he's waiting for Barcelona to call him. Uh, something like they get the phone and, hey Messi, do you want to come to sign the contract today? Something like that. Um, I don't know. I mean, um, everything seems clear, but I guess Barcelona wants to make everything, uh, all the numbers clear. I didn't read everything. Uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't read any problem. I didn't read there is any any conditions or any details yet in the country it seems that everything is done so i don't understand what's going on i guess i'm wrong and, and not everything is done and that's why messi didn't get didn't go to barcelona yet because if the, if though why is he not <laughs> starting now because all the players were called for starting today because in 13 days so technically in two weeks they have to start the season, and I don't think, even though uh, I don't think Messi is going to play the, the first match, and it's not because I don't think he's not going to sign or whatever. I think having two weeks of preseason for Messi, uh, for any player, 
you don't you are not in conditions of playing any match for 90 minutes okay so that's that's the reason actually uh, i went to run this morning and i didn't this i didn't run for one week no for one month and i didn't i didn't get even the numbers i was doing before the time i was doing it before so it's important i mean we think like well one month well how can they change no it changed a lot trust me and well, talking before we were talking about Emerson, and I want, and now I want to talk about Junior Firpo. You may think, why are you talking about Junior Firpo? He's not Barcelona player anymore. Well, I know that he talked about Barcelona. He said something that I really, I really think. So uh, he said that he learned a lot because he was with the best players in, in the world in their positions, and it was a great time in Barcelona, learning many things. And then he said he was a bit a bit sad, uh, frustrated, because he wanted to play more, uh, but um, he... I didn't understand something they wrote there in Spanish, makes no sense. So the, literally what I understand is, I wanted to play... I was frustrated because I wanted to play more. I thought I deserved, because they wrote I don't deserve, so I think I deserved to play more, but they didn't give me the chance. Um, Junior Firpo, yeah, I think so too. I think, um, I don't know why, maybe he, the level, maybe because um, Sergio Roberto was being better, because remember it's a position, the right back, that it was like a bit, not really, how to say, that position didn't have an owner, like we have Jordi Alba at the left back, or Piquet at the defender uh, as a center back. In the right back, we didn't have that kind of person, that kind of player. And that's why this guy, Junior Firpo, came from Betis. Actually, he was doing good matches with Betis before coming to Barcelona. And it was it was expected. I remember when they signed him, they thought like it's going to be the next Alba, but on the other side, everything like that. Actually, the same, similar to Emerson now. And at the end, he didn't play. But it's not he didn't play with one coach. There were there were three coaches, or three managers, however you want. Um, Setien, Valverde, and Kuman. And none of them counted on him. I, I that me, that is, that means a lot because. If you say, well, one coach, for example, Zidane, when he didn't count on Bale, but with other players... Well, no, that's a bad example, because he counted on him um, sometimes. I don't have anyone in mind now, but one, one player doesn't play with one coach, but the other coach counts on him. So you can say, well, that's because of the coach. He didn't like him, or he wanted to perform anything different, and this player didn't fit on the, on the scheme on the board but when you have three coaches three managers that changes because that means it's not the system it's not the the it's not the coach it's not the board it's the player the problem is the player i really don't understand i think he even doesn't understand what happened i think he deserved more more chances but well at the end we got um we got this guy, and uh, now I don't remember the name. Mingueza, now, yes, Oscar Mingueza. We got Mingueza, and he, he, he performed really well for being 20, uh, 20, not much, 21, 22, I think he's. So, yeah, at the end, that's what happened. But, well, I wish the best for him in Leeds. I mean, for Junior Group. Talking about now about Moriba, we talked this morning that it seems that Barcelona will let him go with Barcelona B. But anyway, as I read this afternoon, the positions between the player and the team or the club are not even close yet. So the 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 the, the, skit, the player is still asks for a lot, and Barcelona still thinks no. Why? I, I remember. Some weeks ago, I, I read Moriba wants to to get. Uh, no, Moriba is thinking that they want just to sell him. That's why they don't accept the conditions that he's putting. Well, I don't think so, really, because I'm reading now that in Barcelona they are they are really afraid 
then that his conditions are um are conditionated <laughs> or his requirements are conditionated by Chelsea. Chelsea is ready to pay him twice or three times what he's getting in Barcelona in this moment. So if in Barcelona he's getting six million next year in Chelsea he will get 12 million. If he goes now and probably three, uh, 18 million, if he goes next year, he will he will go as a free agent. So uh, now my, my question is Moriba, who is playing with him? Really? And as I said, and I read in other places, this may be another Bojan because in Barcelona, for sure, he will play. Kuman trust on uh, Kuman trusts on him. And uh, last year he had minutes. This year I think Kuman will give him even more minutes. And it depends on the player because if he goes to Chelsea, however, it doesn't care. It doesn't matter how much money you get in Chelsea, because if later the contract expires and you've played two minutes in five years, for example, no team will want you, even for well for free. Yes, of, of course. But your market value will decrease. And I think he should think about that and not just about his pocket. But, well, some, I have nothing to say. I understand he's, he's, what he's thinking. But anyway, let's see. And now I want to talk about this. The pie and Griezmann. I'm going to finish now, okay? Memphis, he said that he has a very good connection with Griezmann. I think we've seen that during the matches. The last, the, well, the last, the only two matches that they have performed to together, incredible. They, they, there is like a special connection. They really understand each other. They know where they are, where where the other one will be. It's more or less. It reminds me somehow uh, when we saw that connection, Leo Suarez. Okay, but yeah. Anyway, Memphis has performed really well actually uh kuman was talking about him like he's very difficult to defend uh, memphis and also griezmann has performed really good matches no goal that's sad but many assistances and that's quite good talking about griezmann um now it seems that it's very weird that he will leave barcelona and i read in other newspaper that Saul may go to Barcelona. And now I want to ask you, do you really want Saul to come? I mean, with the midfield that we are having now, with all those players, that we're really Gabi, um, Nico, Busquets, uh, De Jong, Pedri, I always forget Pedri, I don't know why. Um, if he doesn't go, Sergi Roberto, I think it's better to put him on the midfield as well. Why do we, why we really need Saul in that position? I mean, it seems that with these new players, the, Saul has experience. That's right, and it will help us to be to have a um, strong a strong midfield or stronger, not a strong, just a stronger. But I think I, I don't think the, the this barter would help us really in this moment if Griezmann plays like this. To send Griezmann to Atletico Madrid will not help us. Of course, that's also because of the economical situation. But if the numbers they prepared were right, just decrease the salaries and let's see if we can we can reach our object. And that's all, guys. So you know, uh, I'd like to know what's your opinion about this thing I talked now about Griezmann and so I'm really interested in knowing your in knowing your opinion and. That's all, guys. Thank you for watching us. You know, if you like the video, hit the like button and see you tomorrow. Have a nice day.